For those who want to make silly putty without the use of borax, I want to show you how. What you will need is half a cup of glue, one fourth of a cup of liquid starch, some food coloring, which is optional, but it makes it more fun. First, what you'll need is to pour the liquid starch into the one fourth container. Next, what you'll need to do is pour half a cup of glue. Then, what you'll need to do is pour it in a bowl. If you'd like to use food coloring, like I said, it, it was optional, but it makes it more fun. You can. Make sure you add a good amount of food coloring, otherwise it won't be that rich in color. You can make it red, you can make it orange, you can make it green, you can make it blue, you can make it purple, you can make it pink. You can make it any color you want. And I know, the yellow food coloring might look orange, but it's actually not. Now what you're going to do is mix the food coloring together. Mix it well. Make sure the color is what you want. I find this to be too red. What I'm going to do is add more yellow to the mixture. Now play with it a little bit and it might stain your hands. When you're finished mixing the silly putty, make sure you dry it. You can leave it overnight. Well, I don't recommend that. That'll harden. Or you could use a blow dryer like me. No, you need to turn it on. Con los terroristas. Your finished product should look a little something like this. You can stretch it, squeeze it, not bounce it, and pick up pencil marks with it. And you can also use any color. You can use no food coloring. You can use any kind of glue. And your finished product will always look like this. Thanks for watching, and have fun making this. If you watched until this point, make sure you keep it in a sealed container so it doesn't harden.